In a world teeming with life, a myriad of creatures both big and small, there existed a realm often unnoticed by human eyes. This realm was ruled by the luminous lizard folk, guardians of the Earth's most secretive corners. Each scale and each claw had been shaped by the wisdom of the Earth, granting them the power to maintain the delicate balance of nature's intricate web. The lizard folk came in all forms and sizes, from the tiny geckos that clung to the walls of human homes, keeping them free from unwanted insects, to the grand monitors that roamed the forests, keeping the small animal populations in check. In the deserts, the resilient and wise sand dwellers played their part in the cycle of life. The heat of the sun was no foe to them. Rather, it was their lifeblood. By burrowing into the dunes, they aerated the soil, allowing it to breathe and to preserve its precious moisture, an act that kept the desert alive and helped plants to anchor themselves, an oasis of life in the sands. The tropical canopies echoed with the calls of birds, but hidden within those vibrant leaves were the chameleons, the masters of disguise. Their changing colors were more than mere spectacle. They were a testament to the lizard folk's adaptability and their role as insect controllers. By maintaining insect populations, they preserved the health of the forests and prevented overgrazing of the foliage that was the lungs of the world. In urban jungles where concrete often overshadowed green, the lizard folk adapted once more. The resilient geckos made their homes alongside humans, feasting on pests, while teaching a lesson in coexistence and the importance of adapting to changing worlds. But as time passed, the lizard folk noticed a change. The earth was warming, not from the natural embrace of the sun, but from the blanket of human making that suffocated the world. Their habitats began to dwindle, and their numbers waned. A child, curious and kind, who spent her days exploring the gardens and the nights with her eyes fixed on the stars, noticed the absence of her scaly friends. She remembered stories her elders had told her of the luminous lizard folk, who danced across the earth, each step ensuring its vitality. Realizing their importance, she began to rebuild their homes, creating spaces in her garden where they could bask and thrive. She spoke to others and soon, many were crafting lizard-friendly nooks, leaving water out for the thirsty and planting green roofs and walls. And as if by ancient magic, as the people gave back to the earth, the lizard folk returned, bringing with them a resurgence of life. The gardens flourished, the insects thrived in balance, and the earth beneath their feet felt the care of thousands of tiny claws once more. The lizard folk, once rulers of a realm unnoticed, became symbols of resilience and the keepers of the earth's finest secrets. They taught that every creature, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, held a key to the balance of life. This tale, much like the story of the birds, is a reminder of the interconnectedness of all life. The lizard folk, representing real-world lizards, play crucial roles in pest control, pollination, and as an integral part of the food web. They are indicators of environmental health and biodiversity. By understanding and protecting them, we ensure the continuity of countless ecological processes that are vital, not just for their survival, but for ours as well.